Sometimes it's not always what you eat, but what's eating you. Are you the kind of person that under stress forgets names, dates, maybe even forgets directions that you would remember very easily in other situations? If your brain is not regulating or is not fit, you're going to get dysregulated for the rest of the day, which means when you get upset in the morning, you're going to still be upset in the evening. Physical exercise in the morning is worth three times the physical exercise in the evening. The old tribal, uh, ancient tribes, they didn't keep the wisdom of the tribe with the youngers. They kept the wisdom of the tribe with the elders. You can have a highly functioning brain for the rest of your life. Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick Porter, and I want to go over a little bit about what brain fitness is all about. After all, this month is Brain Awareness Month. So brain fitness refers to the ability of our brain to function optimally, which means in both terms of cognitive ability as well as emotional balance. Are you the kind of person that under stress forgets names, dates, maybe even forgets directions that you would remember very easily in other situations? Well, it's not uncommon as we age that this happens. So what we want to talk about is brain fitness, and it involves keeping your brain active and engaged through mental exercises, cognitive challenges, and basically when you meet an emotional uh, event, one that's going to regulate your senses, for instance, what Mike Tyson says when he says everybody has a plan till they get hit, if your brain is not regulating or is not fit, you're going to get dysregulated for the rest of the day, which means when you get upset in the morning, you're going to still be upset in the evening. So by actively working to keep your brain healthy and functioning in an optimal way, you're going to improve your memory, your focus, your attention, your creativity, and your overall cognitive performance. One of the most important functions of this brain fitness activity, and what's so important to you as we age, is something called neuroplasticity. This refers to the brain's ability to adapt and change in response to new experiences and challenges. Regular mental exercises and cognitive stimulation can help to improve neuroplasticity and enhance brain function. But I'm also going to list a few other benefits here because doing your brain tap every day, especially if you're doing it three times a day, you're going to build that neuroplasticity in the morning. And that's going to help to build a brainwave called SMR. Sensory motor rhythm has to do with your cognition, which means your ability to recall information, to think, to be creative and it should be at its highest peak in the morning. That's why most research shows we get more done in the morning than any other time of the week. So in addition to doing these kind of cognitive exercises, brain fitness can also involve physical exercise. It's said that physical exercise in the morning is worth three times the physical exercise in the evening. This is because the circulating blood in the bloodstream, that you're going to use up that energy or that circulating sugar in the bloodstream very easily in the morning. And now you're going to tap into stored fat in the body. So by doing this in consuming the right nutrition, which we're going to go over in a little bit in some other videos, having some kind of stress management because your stressful events, actually one stressful event can be as stressful as eating a candy bar. You heard me right. Your liver produces as much sugar as a candy bar. So lowering your stress is going to make your, your body function better and keep your blood sugar regulated. So if you're one of those people that say, I don't eat sugar, I can't believe I'm not losing weight. Well, sometimes it's not always what you eat, but what's eating you. Sleep hygiene is also super important. By taking a holistic approach to your brain, you're going to find that your health is going to accelerate. You're going to maximize brain function and promote healthy aging. Remember, that in the old tribal, uh, ancient tribes, they didn't keep the wisdom of the tribe with the youngers. They kept the wisdom of the tribe with the elders, which means our brain, if properly motivated through proper nutrition, movement and exercise, and brain fitness techniques, you can have a highly functioning brain for the rest of your life. So remember, brain fitness refers to the ability of the brain to optimize in terms of cognitive ability and emotional balance. So if any of those things are off for you, it's time to start a brain fitness routine. Brain fitness also involves keeping your brain engaged through mental exercise, cognitive challenges, and any emotional regulation events. By actively working to keep your brain healthy, 
you're going to find that your memory is going to improve, your focus is going to get better, your attention is going to be laser focused, your creativity is going to be off the charts, and your overall cognitive performance at any age now, hear me right, any age your brain can perform these things. So neuroplasticity is what's most important with brain fitness, and it refers, remember, to our ability to change and respond to new experiences and challenges. We live in a world today that seems like every day there's a new challenge, there's something new hitting us. Neuroplasticity is key to doing this. Now, regular mental exercises, such as brain tap sessions or mindfulness exercise, this cognitive stimulation is gonna promote neuroplasticity. But the most important part of all of this neuroplasticity, if you're practicing things like yoga and Tai Chi and mindfulness, is to do what they call the corpse pose, which means you just lay down, relax for five to 10 minutes after those exercises to let the brain settle in and build that neuroplasticity. So in review, brain fitness can also involve physical exercise, nutrition, stress management, sleep hygiene. So my hope is, that as you look into BrainTap, using it for yourself, check out the link below. Find out if brain fitness is for you. I believe it is. Whether you're four to 12 years old using our children's programs, or whether you're in high school and you wanna accelerate your learning and your potential in sports, or if you're one of our college teams that are using BrainTap to accelerate their performance like Seminole College winning the national championship three years in a row, this is the time for you to promote healthy aging as well as a healthy brain at any age. There is no age that you can't improve your brain. So breath is super important. And in a future video, we're gonna talk about how breathing accelerates your capacity to function and build neuroplasticity. So enjoy the journey. Please like, share, and promote brain fitness, especially this month, Brain Fitness Awareness Month. Thank you.